Welcome to Screen Fiends. Screen Fiend, rather, which is me. Anything on the silver screen, TV screen, I'm going to talk about it. But this is the movie review for Alien Covenant, which basically could be called Life. I just saw this movie. I think the people was probably working on Alien Covenant, got into it with Ridley Scott, and they got in an argument. He's like, fine, I'll make my own movie then. Call it Life. Same movie. Alien Covenant was a big letdown for me. I expected so much more out of this film. I really did. When this film started out, when everybody was making this film and getting together talking about it, they were saying they weren't going to make it. For a while, it was supposed to be called Paradise. They weren't going to make the film, and I was angry. I'm, you can't leave us hanging with Prometheus. We got to have a TV show or something. And Ridley Scott really fought for this movie. And finally, it got greenlit to go ahead and do the sequel. And... They didn't want to go with the idea of just calling it paradise and people not going to see it. Now it's called Alien Covenant, which is really supposed to be like paradise and where they were going to go and follow the story there and what happens. And without telling the plots, the secrets and everything else, um, the same issue I had with the Life movie, I ended up having with this movie. It was the same thing. It was predictable in the last act, but let's let's stick with the plot. The plot is about 10 years later from Prometheus, there's another mission. They're going to colonize a, a whole other planet. It's like 2,300 people on a ship. And they already got a planet they're supposed to go and colonize. They get a signal out in space from another planet singing a song. And they pick up on the signal. And because they pick up on this signal, they say, hey. This planet, we never scouted this planet before. We never tested it, but man, everything checks out. The weather's nice. You know, it's got a great atmosphere. Uh, a lot better than what we scouted on the planet that we had that's about seven years away. Why don't we just, you know, stop here and chill? Seems like a good idea. Let's go to that planet over there. We can make it there in two weeks if we go. See, the two weeks or seven years. The one we already scouted. There was a meeting with the two captains. And it was already a little incident on the ship where someone passed away due to something that happened out in space and woke them up early. So... They're on the ship. The two captains are now talking, the acting captain in the second. And he's basically telling them, she's telling them, like, look. And this is what you see on the trailer, so I'm not spoiling anything. And she's like, look, you, this is too good to be true. We just see this planet that comes out of nowhere. And we're supposed to just go to that planet and do what? You know, like. Everything's just supposed to be in place. We have not trained for this planet. We, This planet that we're going to has been scouted. It has been, you know, we, we went through the whole nine yards with this planet. Now we're going to something else that we never even mapped, never even did the homework on. You know, it's just not a good idea. But the whole team voted. 
Let's go check out this planet, and here we go with Alien Covenant. This planet turns out to be not the planet that they left before in the first one. This is the planet Paradise that they were supposed to go to when they arrived. So, difference in everything that happened. Um, everyone on this planet um, basically looked like it used to have life, but it just seems like a dead planet now. And the problems I have with this is what I saw in the trailers. They're on a planet they've never been to before in life, and they have no spacesuits on. They like, okay, even though if the atmosphere is breathable, you don't know about germs, you don't know about all different type of things that could probably kill you on the planet yet. You haven't tested the water, you haven't tested the soil, and you're just walking around freely with no mask or anything on. I just find that to be unrealistic. And when I saw it on the previews, I'm like, I can't believe they would do this. And especially in a Ridley Scott movie, I mean, the visuals are going to blow you away, without a doubt. But you got to make this believable. And then you watching this film, this is like the dumbest crew. When I watched the movie Life, I said, well, this is the dumbest crew in space I've ever seen in my life. You know, like, who would ever believe this is a space crew? <laughs> Here we go with Alien Covenant. They took... They made the people in life look like real-life astronauts. I mean, really. They were this bad. I've never seen so many unprepared people in space. I mean, this is a colonizing trip through space. I've never seen so many unprepared people in my life. Now, the movie is not like a flop. Don't get me wrong. There's great scares in the movie. Like, the setting is, is terrifying. You're going to have your scares in the movie and your creepiness and the eeriness of just alien. But some of the things seem rushed. Like, you're not, you, you don't have a chance to build up. They just... Go right to it. I think they show the alien a little bit too much. And this, uh, you know, it takes away from the fear when you see it so much. You know, so to me, um, Alien Covenant is a two and a half star movie. The third act is very predictable. And without saying too much, there it is. Enjoy it. And if you've seen it already, tell me what you think in the comment section. I'm out.